Hey guys, today we have a brand new Minimates review. Today we have the Marvel Minimates Wave 68 Giant Size X-Men Cyclops and Banshee. Alright, it's the ever so popular, ever so controversial leader of the X-Men Cyclops with classic Banshee. I know a year, a couple years ago, we got Banshee in the X-Men Strike Force uniform, but now we have an authentic, actual green and yellow Banshee. And Cyclops. So, I'm really excited for this. So, packaging-wise, it's the exact same as the others. Giant size X-Men, Cyclops, Banshee. There's Scott. There's Banshee. And then on the back, they come with fully interchangeable parts. And the wave has Storm, Sunfire, Nightcrawler, Cyclops, Thunderbird, Wolverine, Cyclops, and Banshee. I will say, though, I think it's a really nice touch that they actually have the packs together. So Wolverine with Thunderbird, Storm with Sunfire, Nightcrawler with Cyclops, Nightcrawler with Colossus, etc. So, let's begin. Cyclops, one of the original X-Men, American mutant Scott Summers, projects uncontrollable beams of energy from his eyes. They are only contained by special ruby quartz lenses. Banshee, a former detective, Irish mutant Sean Cassidy met the X-Men in his dark days as a criminal. Later, he would use his ear-splitting flight-enabling scream for good. First up we have Cyclops. Alright, it's the goody two-shoes himself, Scott Summers. So, I'm not a big fan of Cyclops myself. I'm in that party where it's like, eh, I'm not a big fan. But, I think this is a pretty solid Minimate if you do like Cyclops. Which, if you do, I think you've got a problem. Ooh! I'm just kidding. So, classic Cyclops costume. The blue and yellow. And gold. Makes for a very nice Minimate. Blue overall costume with a very harsh black highlights, like a lot heavier on him than the other figures. You see he's got his X belt, torso, he's got printing on both arms, it's, it's the same print. Going down to legs, he's got boots. Back detailing's nice. Appreciate it. Very, very simple. I've always... I, I, I don't know. I really like the Jim Lee Cyclops costume. Where he has like the open hair. But that's probably the only costume I really like of him. Because otherwise it's just kind of really basic. I think his helmet is a new piece. Visor looks good. You can see his eyes underneath. So I'm sure people will like that. And he's screaming. I wonder why. Something about Gene, I bet. So articulation-wise, Cyclops can do basically everything. And then... Accessory-wise, display stand really boring, but he does have a hairpiece, and what surprised me was his his face underneath is him, he doesn't have sunglasses on, so he's just got the red eyes. I honestly thought the printing was going to be him with sunglasses, but no, huh, not bad. Mine got chipped right here, though, unfortunately. I also think the hairpiece might be new. I haven't seen it before. Overall, Cyclops is really simple, but if you like him, good for you. Next up we have Banshee. All right, the X-Men I was most, probably most excited about in this wave aside from the new Nightcrawler. So a while back we got Banshee in the Strike Team outfit where it was like the blue uniform. And I know people were probably like, but I want the classic costume. And then DST was like, okay, here you go. So classic costume Banshee. This is going to be great. So he comes packaged like this already in pre-flight and screaming. So, I mean, we're already, we're good. This is all we need.
detail-wise, I'm loving this guy. He's got the green, he's got the v-neck. Yellow boots and gloves. Love that collar. Look at that. And he's got Morbius, the living vampire's collar. He's got these killer wing pieces, and they are brand new. So, awesome. Made specifically for him. They're actually textured, too, which is nice. And you can see his back. Very cool. Though, if anything, posing him like this probably would look a little weird. Then the face. He's screaming. He's mad. I think this is a new hairpiece. For some reason, I think it might be from a Thor, maybe. But I can't seem to recall. Articulation-wise, on the other hand, Banshee can do just about everything. Can't really look up and down too well. Because his hairpiece doesn't want to stay on. And, you know, this kind of looks weird. But, accessory-wise... Banshee comes loaded. I think he has the most accessories in this wave. Display stand. A flight stand. Gotta have that. Then, an alternate smiling headpiece. And, we're not done, final piece. A resting wing pose. Awesome. Most importantly, Banshee comes with a Sonic Scream accessory, and this is the kind where all you have to do is pop off his head, then there's just a little hole, and all you have to do is that. Look at that. That is incredible. Just, Arr! Overall, Banshee has some fantastic accessories and is definitely the standout figure of the wave. So, overall, that was the Marvel Minimates Wave 68, Giant Size X-Men, Cyclops, and Banshee. I gotta say, Banshee, definitely the best figure of the wave. Like, it is so cool finally having a classic version of Banshee. And he's got some great parts. I love the new wingsuit, where he actually has the arm flaps on his arms. Love the alternate face, where he's both screaming or happy. That's great. He's got the sonic scream effect, which isn't new but I'm so glad they included it. And just overall, a great package of a figure. Cyclops, on the other hand, I'm not a big fan of Cyclops, so, eh. And I think he really could have used like an optic blast accessory where it's the helmet piece, but the visor is actually shooting a laser. I do think the alternate look though is really cool because mostly Cyclops figures have sunglasses underneath. So it's cool having just a different look. So, that's just what I think. If you guys think this set is terrible or incredible or something, then tell me, because I'm sure somebody will either say first, or they'll say, hey, when are you going to review that? I'm, te I'm teasing, guys. I love you. And, yeah, so if you like the video, then let me know what you guys think. Check me out on social media. And did you like the video? Well, then rate, comment, subscribe, and like. And press that bell button, because apparently that's what people do now. I guess, because YouTube's messed up, apparently. I'm just here for dank memes. Anyway, I'll see you later.